hi guys welcome back to another video in this video um I'm, i don't know I'm dancing to background music we're gonna be doing that some tea tree oil we're doing hot oil treatment eucalyptus oil there we go carrot oil repair split in and it's good for hot oil treatment Argan oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. I'll put that all down in the description. I had a lot of music going on in the background, so I was having fun. I used my funnel so I wouldn't get it everywhere. And for the um, eucalyptus oil, I put about like 20 drops. I just let it drip in there. Sorry, guys. I didn't know. Um, I had all the parts to my tripod, but I didn't know. Or else I could have showed y'all that part. These parts. Carrot oil. That one, I put like five big drops, like. Five big squeezes, kind of. I like mediums. So I used about that much. Put in that little squirt. <laughs> Argan oil. Now this oil was a little thicker. But... When it comes time to it, it will melt down so far. Coconut oil. I did like one um, tablespoon of coconut oil. That was like the hardest one to get to go through the funnel. But I figured it out. I be looking so focused. Mm -mm. <laughs> Excuse all my faces I make in this video. Please. <laughs> okay. Olive oil. That one I did about um, half a tablespoon. I didn't measure it. I just like eyeballed it just the same way I do when I'm cooking. And that's when I'm having a hard time getting the coconut oil to go all the way in. Showing y'all my struggle. There you go. I got a bowl of hot water. I just used one of my coffee cups and poured hot water into this bowl now we're gonna melt or yeah melt that oil see another ugly face because <laughs> i'm focusing there we go there you go it's way more melted than what it was and it is somewhat hot. Like, this is my first time, so I don't know if it was supposed to be hotter than that. But, you know, I wasn't trying to burn myself. So, we're going to put this in my very dry hair. Oh, look, take a sip of wine. No, that wasn't wine. First, dampen your hair. Don't soak it. Just dampen it. Rub that little water through. And just put this hot oil all over. And, like, mine smelled it kind of minty, carroty. Like, it didn't stink. It smelled fine to me. 
I've been having that eucalyptus oil for over a year because I bought it, but I don't know what I bought it for. I just bought it to spend money. And then I found out it's good for your hair, um, stimulates hair growth. So glad I can put that to use. And the carrot oil repairs split ends. And it's also good for hot oil. That's the only one that on the front, it, it specifically said it's good for hot oil treatment. So I was glad about that. And that's an oil that um, I've always used when I was a kid. My mom used it in my hair. So I know it's good for me. And so I'm just rubbing the oil through each section, making sure it's nice and saturated. There's no dry parts. You can see those curls coming through. Now I tried this to try um to see if I would get like shine or more moisture in my hair. Um honestly I think you have to do it multiple times to um receive that. Um I noticed my hair was softer after a little, but um I think I wanna keep doing these treatments to see um if my hair starts to get more shine or more moisture. And right now, since it's getting cold, the weather is changing. My hair is changing. My scalp is changing. My skin is changing. Everything's getting dry. So I feel like these would be good for me to do throughout the winter. And see what changes with my hair. See, I'm just Bantu knotting that up. Get it out the way while I do the next section. Dampen it with some water. Go in with your oil. <laughs> Ugh, that ugly face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You see, I, only, I was just trying to get it in, or in there the best way I could, any kind of way. Just to make sure I don't, yeah, get it on the scalp. Rub it through, rub it through. Twist it up to a bantu knot, or you know, can not do this part, but you're gonna need it to get away. Put it away while you um do the other sections of your hair. Next side, I did off camera, and that's all my hair with all the oil in it. My ugly bantu knot right there. <laughs> Mm, so I did about um, three-fourths of the bottle. I mean, I didn't really have it all the way full in the beginning, but I'd say about three-fourths, one-third, no, two-thirds of the bottle. And there I'm just rubbing it and massaging it in my scalp. Adding more. <laughs> I just look so oily now. Now I'm going to put them in two strand twists. Put my hair in two strand. Again, to lock in that moisture while I let the hot oil sit. There you go. All twisted up. I don't know why that um right side or left side, the bond did not look bad. That twist looked bad. 
but it, <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm going in with my shower cap. Another shower cap. I just did multiple shower caps because I've seen some people use aluminum in another one. But I don't have one, so I was like, let's just make sure it's nice and hot in there. Here I am, 30 minutes later. Um, I didn't wait that long because I started getting sleepy. And I wanted to go to bed, so I don't know if I should have waited longer. Next time, we shall see. All the oils. And... I like smelling stuff. I don't know why. Take those twists back down. Because now it's time to wash it out. And those are the new shampoos I'm trying. Eucalyptus Mint. It has eucalyptus and tea tree oil. Got those at Walmart. And here I am with clean hair. Feeling all minty. <laughs> <laughs> Shake them curls, girl. Mm -hmm. And that's where I was trying to feel like, oh, it feels softer. <laughs> Posing. Mm -hmm. And now I was trying to show you guys my tripod that I got. That's what I'll be using to film. Most of my videos now, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.